on your beach and you're going to see in front of you this little hut-like place and see yourself walking up to this hut and when you do you're going to join each other in this magical space and I would like to see if I can try to join you as well. I will be your bartender for you or whatever kind of tender I will be. I will be there waiting for you in this hut. <clears throat> and if you get there before me, I'm gonna come out of the back room. I usually like to be dressed in purple with a big fancy hat. So let me know if you guys can all start to see yourself acclimating into the space. See if you can see the hut and if you're able to see yourself, start to walk up to it. And as you see it, just go ahead and call out one by one as you see it. I see it. Beautiful. You see it already, Spin? Tell me what you see. Lori and, and Dawn are still a little bit behind. I got a little excited. <laughs> you got there and, first? Yeah, and I'm going in and I see tables and I... I see you there. What do I look like? What am I wearing? Like a purple pantsuit. Or it's like a, a halter top. Like it ties up at the, like behind your neck. And like your your arms are exposed and then it just it looks so comfortable. <laughs> Beautiful. Now while you're here in this hut, there's going to be a magic room in the back. It's gonna be like um like a shopping room and anything you can imagine it will be in there. So while you're waiting for Lori and Dawn, I want you to to go in there and get find you something to either wear for your cosmic party or if you want to find something to bring as like um you know uh, uh, a gift you know when you go to a party you usually bring something you don't want to go empty-handed so whatever you choose to do see yourself um, finding this special room where you can go do a little shopping and tell me if you're able to see this i can see it what do you see? Describe. The best way to describe it, it looks like an import store. They, There's a little bit of everything. <laughs> there's, Beautiful. Like, there's clothes, there's jewelry, there's incense and tarot cards and books and Beautiful. I want you to do a little shopping while you're there. And I'm going to come right back to you. Have fun. Do some shopping. And I want to see if Lori and Dawn have made it. Do you guys see the beach yet? I can't. Lori? Yeah, okay. On you're on the beach, Lori? Yes. Okay. And Dawn, where are you? I'm still just kind of standing more dark. All right, Don, take a deep breath. Lori, I want you to see yourself going into this hut and meet up with uh, Spinja in there. And give me a second to get Don acclimated with you guys. So go ahead and find your way into that hut, Lori, and I'll come right back to you. Don, I want you to take a deep breath and relax. Take a deep breath and relax. We're going to 
tune in to your higher self. Archangel Gabriel, allow this connection. Let him be in the space so he can have a connection. Dawn, see yourself acclimating. Tune in all around you. You've been here before. All you have to do is just relax. Focus on your breathing and imagine yourself with your mind's eye walking along a beach early in the morning, right before the sun rises. You can feel the sand beneath your toes. You can smell the seawater in the air. Just see yourself acclimating into this space and tell me when you're there. I got it. I got it. You're there? Yeah. Describe everything you see around you. It's just up the beach from where I saw the dolphin the first time. And they can see the shack now. Okay, beautiful. See yourself walking to the shack or walking to the hut. And Lori, did you make it inside? Yeah. Describe everything that you see, Lori. And while you're doing that, Dawn, I want you to see yourself acclimating into that space. And I'll ask you in just one second, what do you see? Just want to make sure Lori's there. Lori, what do you see? I'm there. I, when I was walking to it, um, I was picking up seashells on the way. So I, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I have a couple of seashells in the satchel. And I see the hut, like a brown mud top or something like that. So I came inside. I see the tables. Um, I went to the bathroom, and I see Spinge in there. And I have a, I have a funky, like tropical, like crazy pineapple shirt or something and I'm looking around to see if I can upgrade <laughs> beautiful do you see me in there anywhere I think I saw you behind the um the bar area um your hair is kind of up and down at the same time kind of like a bun top and then the back is down um, you have on these um, like little feather, uh, silver feather earrings. I see there. Um, I see the little purple top tie, but I think I don't know. But it, I think you're wearing like a skirt. <laughs> what do you see, Spinja? Do you see the same thing she's describing? only difference I don't see the squirt I see like long flowy pants okay interesting and what about you Don did you did you join up with them do you see everybody I can see it and I found something that I want to take it's a timeline tarot deck Ooh, wow. Nice. You gonna do a tarot reading at the party? These can change timelines if it's not okay. Oh, wow, super. Nice. All right, I want you guys to do a little quick shopping, gather a few things. And when you're done, I want you to step outside. And when you step outside, your golden pyramids are going to be there waiting for you. And let me know um, what you got. And when you're in your pyramids and whoever wants to jump in and start talking, go ahead. Lead the way. Well, I picked up I picked up some little crystal balls. They're like clear quartz but they're small like 
a little bit bigger than marble. So I picked up three of those and I put them in the satchel and I switched out my tropical pineapple shirt for just a t-shirt. It's like a t-shirt dress. So I'm, I have that on. It's like a t-shirt, like a t-shirt dress. It's black and it has like um it has like Doctor Who on the front. So I have like a Doctor Who the shirt dress on now. And I got the three um uh quartz marbles. I think that's all that's all I wanted to take was the three quartz marbles. Okay, well, when you're done, go outside and head into your pyramid and let me know when you're in it. Okay, I'll start heading outside. But when right. I'm taking out, I took a drink. Sorry. No, do it. Take a drink. Grab a bite to eat. You know, you got time. Don and Spin still have to do their stuff. So, Don and Spin, what are you guys doing? I've got my full biomech space suit. <laughs> It's from my SSP work, but mm -hmm. I'm just taking it because it's more agile than my human body. Oh, nice. I'm going to go outside. Okay. Spin, what about you, Spinja? I've got a rainbow backpack. <laughs> that oh, it's interesting that Lori mentioned Doctor Who because his backpack is like is like the TARDIS. <laughs> so I, I'm packing a lot of stuff. Nice. Um, I love I, Doctor Who. <laughs> I picked up a crystal bowl for the for the party host. Mm -hmm. Um, I picked up a hand drum and some moccasins mm -hmm. and I've got my sunglasses with me. Nice. And I I grabbed some fairy dust <laughs> and then I'm wearing this purple dress. Um, the top, the top part is fitted and it's sleeveless, but there's like a choker collar. And then the skirt is kind of feathery. It's, it's very fairy light. Ooh, beautiful. And there's sparkles on it. Nice. I want you to see me gathering some stuff as well. I want to take some stuff on the trip. What do you see me gra grab? Are you noticing? Maybe I can show you what I'm doing, what I'm grabbing. I see you grabbing some amber bottles, like amber colored bottles. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's in them, but they're, they're, I don't know, like, three or four inches tall and you grab on a bunch of amber bottles and you put them inside like I don't know look like a wicker basket or something oh. <laughs> nice Spinda do you see me grab anything uh you're grabbing some crystals and it's like there's various various crystals and they're each in their own little bags Mm. Nice. Don, did you see me grab anything? I saw you with like a shoulder sling sack that just kind of comes across the front of you. Like it almost looks like what you would carry a baby in, but it has a bunch of stuff in it. <laughs> nice. All right. Do you guys want to call in your dogs? Do you want your dogs to join you guys? Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Pack, pack. Oh, wow. Lori, you bringing in uh, Thor? I'm seeing if he's coming. Bucky. Oh. He's he's Dad. outside. He's in the he's on the beach area. He's looking. He's looking at everybody. <laughs> Tell him, come on, you can come to the party. He's sniffing. Oh, you might have to get some snacks for him too. Don't forget your guys' dogs. They want some snacks. You want to see last minute treats? I'll go, I'll go and grab a bag of beans. <laughs> some sweet potato sticks. What about Bucky and uh, Gunner? What do they get? I make them frozen pork snacks from like I buy a pork roast and make my own snacks for them. You see some there? Yeah. You bringing them? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. I think we're ready. So we're going to see everybody out, out outside of the hut into their pyramids. I'm going to step into my pyramid. We're all going to step into our pyramids so we are safe and protected from beginning to end. And this pyramid is going to be invisible. The dogs are going to be in their pyramids as well. Let me know when everybody's in. I don't mean. Me too. Lori? I'm in, I'm in the pyramid. Lori's in his. Okay, beautiful. Now, we're going to imagine that this big, gigantic, um, cosmic crusader ship it's got many levels. It, this is like the, the the resort type of ship. This is like where people are going to come to hang out with us and explore when we go to different places all around the universe. So this is going to be our cool little spot. <laughs> I'm super excited. So let's see. I would like to call in the ship, have this big, massive ship, bigger, this big, the ship that you have you know you guys get to travel in your little ships but i want you to see this big ship you know the type of ship that your little ships can fit inside in kind of like a mother ship so i want this big massive ship to show up and it's going to also be um high vibe so it's going to be a lot of crystal energy i don't know if it's completely made out of crystals but it's going to be you know all high vibe so let me know if you can see this start to materialize yet and come i want it to land on the beach let me know when you see it what i see is kind of like um from the movie fifth element it's the flossing paradise ship that big ship with like a lot of windows and it looks it looks huge and it's got I see like a lot of windows. Or like a, or, a or, cruise or, ship city. Like a cruise ship city city? Yeah. Nice. Do you see this too, Spinja? I do. Beautiful. So now I want it to, to land down in front and it's gonna open up. And I want you to see all of us and Tarina and tell me if you guys can see this happening. I see us all going inside. And the dogs, everybody's going in. And tell me, what does it look like inside? Describe everything you guys see. Oh. I see tropical, like kind of like vacation vibes inside this huge place vacation vibes I grabbed a I grabbed a leg on the way in like in Hawaii you grab a leg I got a lay on my on my um shirt dress and a flower beautiful and a flower in my hair beautiful what about you guys Don and Spinja when when you go in it kind of looks like 
two big staircases that spiral up to like the second story and then the first floor is just all open introductory area like you kind of mingle when you first go in and then it just kind of splits off but there's a big hall entrance what am i doing Right now, I see you just kind of pointing at things, showing us. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What do you see, Spinja? Can you describe everything you see? I see the hall that was that Don was talking about, and I, I see what he was saying. Like, you're pointing things out and telling us about the place and the history and... I think you work for them. For who? Like, the, the, <laughs> who owns the ship? Oh, nice. Now, I want you guys to explore the ship and find your own, find some quarters. You're going to have some quarters to hang out at where you can place your stuff and where your your dogs can have a place to hang out if they choose to, but walk around the ship and find find some quarters, find a hallway or find some quarters and just describe everything that you see as you go. Describe what the ship looks like. And let's have some music playing in the background. Let's see if we can get some beautiful frequency music playing. Anybody? <laughs> It does look like a lot of this is made from crystal and it it almost feels like when you touch it the the crystal has its own vibration, like it's alive. I think a lot of the ship is intuitive. It is, absolutely. Connect with it and see what messages you can pull from it. Remember, you guys have done this type of stuff before, so you know you can get information. If you get curious and you want to ask, simply ask and see what you get. Okay? And describe what you see. Are there hallways? Are you guys walking around looking for your quarters? I'm pretty sure you guys are going to get, like, the big honeymoon suite or something, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, Dora and I already ran up uh, the first spiral staircase. We already ran up there. We're like on a, I don't know if this is second or third level, but we're we're wandering around. And he's sniffing in corners. And <laughs> I'm, I'm looking and I see like, um, I don't know if it's like chandelier kind of things, but it's like, it's like light is coming out, but I think those are like crystals, like 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 dropped crystals, like the ceiling of dropped crystals. And they're like um giving off of like a vibration that's kind of soothing. It makes you feel like you're um I don't know, it makes you feel like you're not as heavy as you are, like you're light. It makes you feel like you're light, like you're getting some type of vibrational bath or something up there. So we're wandering around up there. Um, we're trying to find our quarters, but um, he's sniffing something. He's found, he caught the scent of something. So we're just wandering. I found a really <laughs> big Victorian bedroom. And this stand-up mirror is actually a portal. In your room? Like, In your quarters? It's like a big state room. It's all done up like 16th century Victorian. But there's a big mirror 
almost like through the looking glass kind of thing. And yeah. you can think and go through it. Okay. Is Spinda in there with you or is she trying to find a different room? I'm jumping up and down on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. What about the dogs? What are they doing? I saw a place. Bucky's doing laps. There there was like a, a room, but it was bigger than a room. It like it was almost like an indoor habitat. Like yeah. let them like they can go you can let them loose. And they can just like run and wander and be huskies and they they can't get into trouble. Beautiful. See, I, you hear that, Lori? They can't get into trouble. <laughs> it's like indoor outside. Yeah. Like a resort type of uh oasis type of place. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, there's snow, there's mud, anything that they want to get into. Oh. They want to chew, if they want to eat, it's everything a husky would want. It's like the dog nice. deck. <laughs> <It's like laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Well, on this big ship, do you feel like there's more people there? Or do you feel alone? I think there's other people here because Dora's sniffing them out. He's sniffing out. He's sniffing out. Um, All right. Let's send love to everybody on the ship and send love to the ship, letting them know that we're here and we're going to power up the ship and we're going to, um, I guess I will, <laughs> while you guys are walking around, um, I'm going to power the ship up and I'm going to send it up, 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 up. And we're going to hang out in space somewhere. We're going to find a place where we can hang out in space and um, just chill for a minute. You know, we're just going to just go up, 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 leave this space on the beach and travel out. So we were in the stars and we just see this beautiful, you know, lights all around us, these beautiful lights of the galaxy and solar systems and whatever. But while that's happening, I want you guys to go ahead and get comfortable in your quarters. You can place your things down if you want to, your, your goods and stuff. And I want you just to explore the ship. I want you to explore the ship, go through rooms, open doors, open cabinets, and, um, just to explore. I want to see if there's any bathrooms on the ship, if there's a kitchen, if there's a place for food, if there's a lounge area, like let's just explore the ship. So you guys have fun with it and just tell me what you see as you go and you can just pop, you know, we call it popcorn style. You can just speak up as you go and just talk normal, okay? Well, I, I touched the wall, I touched the wall and the ship said uh, it's a feminine um, sentience. And I think it said its name is Tanzor Tanzorin, Tanzorini, T-A-N-D-O-R-I-N-I, -I, something like that, Tanzorini. And it said, welcome. Basically like welcome aboard. <laughs> Well, I send love and I say thank you and thank you for having us. You guys would like to send love as well? Yeah. 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 Touching the walls and the walls where we are, it's um, vibrating and glowing. Um, I think we're going to make where we are, that's going to be our quarters. Because it's sensory. We, we, we can... Um, we can connect with her. That's gonna be our quarters. Our quarters are um it's all molded together. Um there is um like a uh an area where door is going to be um and we're gonna be in the same room. It's a huge space. 
but everything is like blended from like the floor up and the walls in our space and it's um, glowing from within and there's still those crystals that are like dropped down and they're, they're still sending out vibrations. So in our quarters, it's, it's like everything is like molded together and there's like a depression area where um, it's like a lot of pillows. So that's where I'm going to be. And uh, Thor has his own um, area. And um, our room has like this, mm, it's it's like, it's not like singing bowl sounds that's coming through, but it sounds like, I don't know, like raindrops, raindrops like hitting crystal as well. So it's like little ping, 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 ping pinging sounds in our room and I like it it's very soothing and we have like these big um panoramic windows big panoramic so we can see out we can see out the ship into space and it's, it's like all it's like basically like all one side of the room is nothing but um viewing it's viewing. beautiful yeah and the floor is well, um, I'm barefoot, and the floor is is crisp. It's crisp and cold, and it's kind mm-hmm. of like um, I don't know. It's kind of like a crystal resin or a resin or some type of crystal lean material floor. Beautiful. Does, does it light up when you walk on it when you're barefoot? Does it who? Does the floor light up when you walk on it barefoot? Yes. yes, the floor lights up. It lights up, but the colors are kind of, in our room, the colors are kind of like rainbow when you, depending on yeah. where you walk, it's like yeah. rainbow kind of colors. Yeah, it's nice. That's why I didn't know if that's crystal that's doing that or. It's, and it's cold, but it's a nice cold. Yeah, it's very soothing. It makes my foot feel good. The walls turn almost a grapefruit color when you touch them and talk to them through your mind. Yeah, in our room, they glow. They glow. And it's like, when you touch it, you connect with the yeah. shape. Whatever the sentience of, of Tangerine is, you connect with it. And, and <laughs> she likes it. She likes to feel connection. I think that's how the ship um, makes your accommodations soothing to each individual. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want you guys to find me. Find me. Am I in my room? What does my room look like? All right. We're, gonna, we're running down hallways. <laughs> we're not acting right up here. So we're trying to find <laughs> We're just running. Thor's Thor's doing that crazy husky uh he's doing the zoomy thing. <laughs> so we're we're running, we're running. I don't know where if you guys are downstairs or upstairs, so we're upstairs, so we're running. We're gonna come down the other side of the spiral case, but it's a far way away, so we're running. Yeah, it's like a big horseshoe all the way around. Yeah, so we're gonna come, we're coming downstairs because we don't know if you guys came upstairs, but we're gonna run back down. <laughs> I think Maya is on the captain's deck. <laughs> like you have some serious pull here. <laughs> well, I should. It should be my ship, but you never know. They might have just taken it from me and let me borrow it. I'm trying to claim it. <laughs> That's where I see you is like on the bridge. Beautiful. Ask Tandori, am I the uh am I the commander of this ship? Yes, yeah, she said you are the commander. Oh beautiful. Yay. <laughs> you have um, you have a chair. You have a commanding chair. <laughs> yeah. It's kind nice. of tough. it's kind of tough it is. That's funny. <laughs> tough it is. <laughs> 
Um, ask Tandori if she likes to name Cosmic Crusaders. She said it's intrepid. It's an intrepid name. Is that good? Yes. <laughs> okay. And you guys are my crew. So this is going to be our first um our first mission and we're going to be kind of like recruiters you know because you never know maybe we could be we could eventually recruit people from other planets to hang out with us and they can like watch our ship when we're not on the ship but you never know where this will go but it's just a thought i don't know where it came from but you never know it might happen <laughs> so i would like for you guys to see yourselves um getting ready to um Put on your spacesuits or whatever, like whatever your your cosmic crusader uniform. We're gonna have our own uniforms. They can look like whatever you want. Don, you can keep yours, however. But we're gonna have a cool little symbol on our um, on our spacesuit, and I would really like to use the symbol of the phoenix. You guys up for that? Yeah, that's cool. Yes. All and right, he's so standing on two C's. Huh? He's standing on the letter C, but there's like a C under each foot. Oh, nice. Yes. For Cosmic Crusaders? Yes. <laughs> well, maybe we can have the C's somehow connected to the Phoenix. I want you guys um to see like there's going to be an emblem that's going to appear on the wall and it's going to be our cosmic crusader symbol it's, i would like it to be like the phoenix and we can incorporate the seas in it because i was actually seeing the seas too so let's see what shows up on the wall can you guys see anything yet it's a big, uh, larger than life phoenix not small it's big uh-huh is it like an outline or like a full picture? No, it's a full picture, full color. Yeah. And it's kind of moving. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay, so our symbol is going to be the phoenix. I mean, that's a very powerful symbol. I mean, maybe well, maybe she can. The phoenix can hold like a trident in its feet or something. Well, let's see what do we get another symbol with her? I don't know, but the 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 giant phoenix that seems to like watch over the planet or whatever, um, is kind of like watching the ship. <laughs> it's it's watching the ship. So whatever we're doing on this ship is interesting. <laughs> well good you know well we called her name so she's like well, what you guys up to you know we want to be we want to be protected always and you know i love um i love her symbol so i just want people to know we are protected by the phoenix she's always watching over us yeah she gave a nice nod like to you beautiful let's send her some love you guys let's send the phoenix some love and tell me if you guys can see that and what happens I see her and she did like she banked like banked left so that you could see the rainbow fire coming off her wing. Uh, it looks like she's she's going on but she I guess she checked in. <laughs> what do you guys see Dawn and Spindra? Same thing? I could see her receiving the positive energy. She got brighter. She got brighter? Yeah. Beautiful. All right. So I want you guys to imagine that um, you guys have like lockers there or something and see yourself opening up your locker and your suit, your special suit is going to be there with your emblem on it. And tell me if you can see everything. I'm opening up my locker and I have a picture of Jason Momoa in my locker. <laughs> He's traveling with us. He's in my locker and I pulled out this funky, um, I don't know. Um, I guess it's some type of protective suit, but um, it has the 
a phoenix emblem but it's um it's like a bone white they're like a bone white um kind of like i don't know what kind of material that is but it's bone white and it's a little shimmery and but the the space boots or whatever that is they're like platforms <laughs> they're like platform white bone shimmery space suity Ooh, nice i don't know how am i supposed to wear missions and known things but well yeah. you're going to a party you're wearing your best space oh. suit party oh, yeah it's party time <laughs> okay all right now i understand you know you can we gotta have different suits right so what about <laughs> you spinja what do you see <laughs> i i see the platforms that laurie's talking about mm -hmm. mine's actually like a light purple like lavender shiny cat suit wait who's wearing the the who wait say that again who was wearing the lavender shiny cat suit that's my that's mine oh oh okay well, say that again <laughs> so i've got the platforms like like angel lori oh that my my suit is like a shiny like light purple lavender cat suit Oh, I like it. <laughs> to party. <laughs> nice. Don, do you I have weapons on too? I went full formal military and I'm even clean shaven. <laughs> nice. Let me know when you guys are all suited, dressed in your, your gear. Yeah. All right, beautiful. So now, uh, let's see. I'm gonna open my cabinet and I'm gonna pull out something, and it's gonna, you know, magically appear on me. What am I wearing? Can you guys describe it? What I see is something kind of shaped like a, like a butterfly or a fairy. It kind of comes out and then out. And it's like gathered material, like I don't know, organza, like organza material. It's really fancy. That's what I see. So you look like, and it and it is like a very palest, like a palest, like lilac kind of color, and it's like organza kind of material, but it's gathered. So you look like like a regal, like butterfly fairy thing. <laughs> and it has like a, it has like a crystal like thing at your waist. It's really pretty. Oh nice. It's very cartoon Cinderella kind of. Yeah. Is it really? Very <laughs> eye catching. You like the, the star of the party. <laughs> Walking in that, you get noticed. Yeah. Nice. Spinja, is there anything on my hair? You, there's like a, a band around your head. There's like a jewel in the middle of your forehead. Is the band knitted? No, it's, it's, it's sparkly. It's, it's jewels. But there's like a, a purple jewel in the middle of your forehead. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Dark purple? It's an amethyst. Oh, nice. Yes, that's my stone. All right, beautiful. All right, nice you guys you. ready to go party? You got little, you have like little crystals on your locks too. Oh, crystals. nice. <laughs> all right so let's see now this this ship is so magical right there's all kinds of layers and levels to it i want you to all um we're going to you're going to follow me down the hallway and we're going to go to a special room and when we open the door we're going to step in to a cosmic party it's going to be all kinds of 
extraterrestrial alien people, friends that are there to, to welcome us, to, to party with us, to celebrate with us. Um, they know we're coming. You know, this could be our soul family. It could be whoever, our friends that we've traveled and, and visited in our sleep, whoever wants to join us and get a chance to speak to us, this will be their opportunity. So tell me if you can see me leading you down the hallway. And if we, we're going to, we're going to get to a door and the door is going to be gold. So it's going to stand out. The door will be gold. And when we walk in, we're going to see you know, this beautiful grand cosmic party and tell me if this is possible and describe everything that happens, whoever wants to go. Is the gold, do are the gold doors huge and are they kind of ornate? They can be. Is that what you see? Yeah, it's a huge, like, and it's knocky size doors and it's very ornate. And when you walked us towards the doors, you were like, um, it's like um, sparkles, fairy dust, the sparkles was like coming off of that dress and your hair and um, led us to the doors and then the doors just open on their own. And we're just like standing in the doorway right now. And when I'm looking, I'm looking at us. We clean up nice. Um, <laughs> and I'm looking inside and I just see a lot of beings, but there's also a lot more beings. There's also a lot more beings on the ship. So when we was upstairs running around, um, they're just in a higher frequency. We can kind of feel them when we're running around, but we couldn't like tune into them. And somebody said we got to raise our. Yes, frequency. I want to raise your guys' vibration. So that's why I want you to get to the party so you can start dancing and and raise so you can raise your vibrations because um, that is a good way to raise your vibration so remember you guys are having fun this is all hot high vibe this is all just for the fun experience and you're going to keep your vibrations up and just have a beautiful experience okay all right so i think as, as we go up in vibration we're going to see a lot more uh people or beings on the ship yeah. yes what about you, Spinja and Don? What do you guys see? It looks like a big ballroom. And I'm starting to be able to sense. I'm pretty sure it's Arturian energy because it's familiar. And it's some of the ones I know. but I can only see like an outline so far. All right, go ahead and take a deep breath and send love to the space and send love to this person that you see. And as you do, you're just going to help raise the vibrations around you. So I'm sending in love to you as well. And do you see Spinja and Lori with you there? They're still at the door. They're looking it, in at the door? It's my lieutenant. Oh, you know the person? He, we work together on a lot of projects. He's an art and in the fifth dimension. From the fifth dimension? Yeah. Beautiful. What do you say to him when you see him? It's a mission brief about whether or not Don here is understanding the energy information he's getting. 
like it's it's business chit chat at a social event, basically bullshit about military shit. And what is the outcome? Does Don understanding? He's starting to understand the solar powered geomagnetic conductor, but can't make it yet. Uh huh. But there's a bunch of them here, and they're all friendly. Like, <laughs> Arcturians aren't so much friendly as they are just generally polite because they're not overly emotional. What do they look like? Very few facial features, blue gray skin. Five and a half to six feet tall. Skinny? Slender, like not like sickly, but not muscular either. What do their eyes look like? Um basically blue black cat eyes. But not intimidating. They're actually rather soothing and friendly. Oh. They don't and look nothing like gray, do they? No, except for the bulbous head. That's the only similarity. And the color of the skin, or no? No, they're more blue than gray. Okay. And mm -hmm. completely passive and <clears throat> more amused with human behavior than anything. Are they aquatic beings? They're very adept in the water. Are they amphibious? I don't think so. Okay. It doesn't seem like I, it seems they more live in the ether and only take form when they have to to communicate. Right. Okay. Can you ask him if, um, if there's Octorians in Mount Shasta in the inner earth? Everybody's in Mount Shasta. It's like a hub. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's all right, like, beautiful. It's like a bus station. Right. I bet. <laughs> all right. Will you go ahead and keep talking to your lieutenant and I'm gonna find out what Spinja's doing. Spinja, what are you doing? And Lori, you keep on exploring and I'll come right back to you. You have fun at your party. <clears throat> find someone to talk to. And I'll be right with you. Spinja, what are you doing? What do you see? And how does this feel? I have my hand drum and I'm playing with the band. And I'm and trying that. to I'm trying to pull myself away, but I just want to play with the band. Well, enjoy. Play with the band. Have fun. Why not? Who are you playing with? Can you take a look and tell me what they look like? There's various beings. There's some instruments that I've seen before and then there's others that I haven't seen, but they don't look really out of place. They could very well be instruments from the past. Right. But don't, they don't look I don't know how to. They, what they, about the 
people. They do look do they, like some could be they could be made here. Yeah, like very primitive type of music instruments. Yes, but there's also some that are complex. Like they might have been buried with a lot of stuff like history. Okay, and can you describe some of these people that you're with? What do they look like? I see a purple humanoid. Purple. Um, they don't don't have any hair. Okay. Are they tall, skinny, short? I'd say probably I'm thinking like six feet if I'm my normal height. Um, they've got two arms and, and two legs, but they, they have four long fingers. Four. Okay. Do they all look the same or are they different? No, there's only one of, one of these, like it's, it's like, there's rainbow people, like every. They're all a different color. Can you can you ask this one with the four fingers, what is this people called? He's from Jupiter. He's from Jupiter? Yeah. Yeah. Ask him, does he know you? We played together in a band there too. Why did I know he was going to say that? <laughs> What's his name? Chabby. Chabby? Yeah. Let's go ahead and send some love to your friend and just say hello, hello, whatever you want to say. But let's just send him some love and tell me if he receives it. He does. What does he say? He's he's having a lot of fun, but he he can't wait for me and my family to come home. We're oh missed. yeah. What was that? They miss us. Do they? Did they send him to meet up with you to tell you this? Because they knew you'd be at the party? He's, he said that he heard that we were going to be here and that's why he came. Okay. Is there anything you want to tell him? Any if messages to, relay? To tell everybody at home that we're working on it. We're trying to figure it out. We still have some work to do, but we're trying to get home. What does he say? 
they know. And they're sending us as much love and support as they can, and they believe in us. Beautiful. Let's take a moment and send your family back, love, all the way back to Jupiter, okay? Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's send your family love all the way back so they can feel it. I feel them. Beautiful. <clears throat> now, I want you to continue on and talk with your friend or play some music, and I'll be right back with you. And I'm going to check in with you. Lori, what have you been doing? Uh, I've been dancing. Yeah. Who are you dancing with? Did you find a cute, cute guy out there? Yeah, he's really tall. I don't know, <laughs> maybe fourteen feet, and he's um, he's different. And he offered me a beverage, so I'm drinking the beverage, and it's um, it's like it's like um, like an elixir of some kind. So I'm drinking this elixir and we're dancing and, you know, he's just like chatting me up. We're just chatting and I can understand him. He can understand me. It's like, um, like instant telepathy. We're going back and forth. And I'm, you know, I told him that, you know, we're here on an adventure and just ready to party and have some fun. And he was like, sure, yeah, I'll show you a good time. So we're just like chatting and drinking this elixir. I'm looking around, suspended with the with the band. Um, Don, he's like, um, he's still talking to his friend, but he's kind of like trying to mingle. And I'm like walking around with this guy and we're having good. He's like introducing me to various um um, I call them people, various people, but you know, everybody's like got like a unique looks about them. Um, Describe a couple that you see. Who did you, who does he, he did, who did he introduce you to? Can you describe a few what they look like? Well, he introduced me to this really beautiful Asian looking lady and she had her, um, um, her, I guess it's her hair or energy spikes and it was like going up and then it had like these beautiful tassels on it so um and it's like a nice like dark color not quite like dark black but like a dark dark brown and it's up and she had on like this um flowery um uh, crystalline outfit and it also had those little tassels on it and it was a little bit poofy and um she looked really nice um and her face she was like a very fair skinned being and she had kind of like humanoid eyes but her eyes were kind of like glowy and I didn't see any um like iris or anything like that so it was just like glow just glowed and but but like human shaped like orbital sockets but they just glow and you have like a, a a thinner nose a thinner nose and she had human lips and they were like really like tiny petite petite lips that's why it gave her like this like overall like like a, a like an asian lady look about yeah her. look really pretty beautiful much. yeah <laughs> and we was just um, uh, chatting her up too just chatting her up too what is she where is she from i didn't even really ask her i was just like really all into her look <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was all into her look i was like um you know how did you get your hair like that and you know, and she's like laughing and giggling. She has like a um like a dainty kind of like nice verbal giggle. Verbal giggle, not like mental, but like a verbal giggle. And when she verbal giggle, it like it's 
like effervescent and it and it made me feel like bubbly when she did that. Nice. Beautiful. And this guy, what does his face look like? Does he look humanoid as well? Not really. <laughs> like he has like a really different look, but he's very like I consider like masculine. He's very masculine and it his face is very uh, angular. And it's not too humanoid looking. I mean, he has one head and um, he um, he doesn't really have a lot of hair. So his, his um, um, cranium is kind of like sparse, but it's, it's, it's attractive. It's prominent. He has like a prominent, um, I guess we would call it a forehead. It's like a prominent forehead. And even though it doesn't have any hair, it's just, it's just like, it's just a good look on the <laughs> angularness of his face. Okay. Like angular. And, you know, you would think that, I mean, like, you would think it's kind of like a fiercer look. If you like just walked up on this being and you didn't ever talk to him, you'd have been like, oh, you'd have been like, oh, but, you know, let me not mess with this person. But he's yeah. very nice. He just looks stringent. He looks stringent. Can you ask him where is he from? He's just giving me more elixir. <laughs> he's, he's oh, giving... gosh. <laughs> He's trying to get food. you drunk. Tell him, you know, he's it's going not, to know you're curious. Tell him you'll send love back to his home. I'm sending him love, but it's not, it's not like alcoholic. It's not doing anything like negative to me. What it's doing is it's it's, it's like kicking up that effervescence more. Beautiful. I think it's because I'm I'm like feeling people's different um uh, energies. Yeah, they're different by vibratory rates. So it's okay. like, like with the lady, she made me extra bubbly. And then I think the elixir is kind of like the catalyst or something in in, in us. And, it, and it, it just helps you to feel, it helps you to feel more. Okay, <clears throat> beautiful. All right, well, now I want you guys to uh, to see yourselves. Uh, if 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 you're still playing Spinja, that's fine. If not, it's okay. But do you guys um I want you guys to make sure you're having fun in this place. Is there hors d'oeuvres or is there a table of food or anything like that around? I see people walking around with things. Okay. Spinja and Dawn, are you guys eating and dancing or what are you guys doing? I am done with my conversation and I just wanted to tell Lori because like having to talk business I wasn't super happy about it because you know it's supposed to be a party it looked really funny from where I was because I wasn't resonating high enough to see the 14 foot guy so it just looked like she was dancing in the air <laughs> it looked really funny from where I was so really? because I couldn't perceive him but I could still see her <laughs> right so what i i wasn't even gonna ask what the hell was going on but then she kind of explained it like i could just see her it was weird <laughs> was she floating in the air yeah because she was i guess now i get it that she was dancing with that really tall dude but he had a hold of her while they were dancing oh. but i could see him i could just see her kind of spinning around and it was funny What about I'm, you, Spinda? What are you I'm doing? A, you... I'm glad I had on pants, like a like a onesie, yeah, like a. Oh, I know. If I had a dress on, you had to be oh, look at him. Glad you changed your dress. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Spinja? What are you doing? Well, I I heard rumblings about food, so I I got off the the platform with the band and went and found like a chocolate fountain and like a nacho cheese fountain and 
<laughs> Lots of good stuff there. Yeah, taste the food and tell me what does it taste like. There's the familiars and but I need to I need to get past like I have I have like texture problems with with the food that we have here. Right. That's something I've gotta work out. Right. Well where you are, anything is possible and everything is magical. So you know, it could be your any texture you choose. Is there anything there that you see that's like alien food? Out of the ordinary? Anything cool, funny looking, strange, eyeballs, I don't know. Strawberry sized pineapples. What? Yeah, it's so weird. Like they're only like Yum. <laughs> nice. But I think food here is the way it, it's secondary. It's an experience, not an obligation. Right. That's why it tastes better. You don't have right. to do it. Exactly. But how fun is it just to have some, you know, space food, though? Like, not everybody can say they've had space food. Or elixirs. I got my chocolate fountain. I, I can't get What was that? that? I've got my face in the chocolate fountain. I can't get past the space chocolate. You got it, like, literally in the fountain? Yeah, that's too funny. I would do that too. <laughs> what am I doing on there? What am I doing? You guys watching me at all? What am I getting into? It, well, from where I can see, I think you're talking to another group of commanders, another group of um, like ranking people, and they're like, um, in a group, you're like really scintillating. You're you're talking to them and everything, and you have you have a glass in your hand. So I don't know if you're drinking elixir or what you got, but you got a glass in your hand, and it is like a glass. And um, there's like um, it's like a little uh, circle of people around you, and you all look like you know each other or you're um um experienced each other before or something so it looks very very um interactive going on over there you're a distance from where i am and spinge is a distance and don's a distance and i'm just trying to um i'm trying to keep track of all y'all because um if i want to go exploring but it seems like this um a very nice person is really not gonna let me explore other people. So I'm just trying to <laughs> I'm just trying to see who else is interested out there. So you know I might have well, to get Rooney. <laughs> tell him it's been nice talking to him and you will you'll see him around and let's see. I want all of all three of you to come meet up with me while I'm talking to these people and eavesdrop as you step for as you step closer and tell me what are we talking about. Oh, he's cool. He gave me a, we did this. His big old hand and mine. <laughs> Good. Awesome. Gentle giant. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. All right. Spinja and Don, can you see me? And can you guys see yourself getting closer? And can you as well, Lori? Yeah, I'm trying to make my way through. Um, even with my platform shoes on, I'm still not that tall. So um, I'm trying to make my way through, but I'm, it's like a sea of people and different types of people, <laughs> different types of people. I've seen, I've seen, um, I don't know, uh, kind of like a semi-tentacles um, man, and it's like the back of him was semi-tentacled. And across the way, 
I did see a big mantis type being. It was a brown mantis I saw. Um, very sociable, socializing. So um, must be a nice person. I saw him when I was dancing um, with the gentleman and I think he did tell me his name. But when we was dancing and I saw over, because I was up higher, I saw the mantis uh, person. And I didn't know if it's female or male, but it's brown. It was a brown mantis. And it was- Did it have clothes? Um, no, I just saw like um, the mantis being in its, in its, I guess, authentic wear, but it was eating and drinking and socializing with everyone. Okay. Beautiful. What about you, Spin and Don? What's going on? Are you guys coming closer to me? I was able to get up near you guys. And it's about you guys were talking about interstellar travel. And how to teach people to astral at a seminar. Like, it's, you guys are captains and instructors, and like, just, you have many, many hats. But it's mm -hmm. basically business chit chat at the party again. You guys are talking about how to like wormholes. It's not wormholes. It's certain stars that allow you to pop from place to place in the galaxy. And you're talking about teaching the next generation. Beautiful. Is Spinta there with you? I can see her. She looks like um, little rascals when they got into the chocolate. <laughs> Is she still swimming in the chocolate mixture? She's, She's breathing. She's on her face and trying to get it off. That is so cute. Get back to business, too. No wonder why she's so quiet. She's 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 over there smothering herself in chocolate. I I can't make out what you're saying. I can see you, but I can't. <laughs> see if you can get closer. Bring some chocolate with you in a cup if you need to. I want you guys to come closer to me. And I want to introduce you to my people there and see if I'm able to do that. You too, Lori, get closer. And I want to be able to introduce you to these people. Right, I'm coming. And I came over to, I came over to Spinja. I have like this, um, it's like a technology that um, she could use it and she could clean the chocolate up a little bit. And it, it's like, um, it's like a tool. And you can just take it and you can just go like this and it just um, removes whatever you want it to remove so she could get the chocolate off. So she's like shiny and she's like shiny new now and she can go back to the chocolate after you introduce us to these people. And I'm standing there. I What was that? I can feel how happy she is. Really? Like from beside me and in, in, in where we are. I have questions about the relationship or the connection between Angel Lori and I. Because I just felt like she was looking out for me there like 
I don't know, friend or family. And even before this this journey, I felt I felt a connection. She's able to make me laugh. And this is my first interaction with her. So I have questions. I don't know, when I came over, it felt kind of like, like a big sister looking out for a little sister. That's why I was, gave her the tool and now she's all spiffy and now we can go closer and, and um, interact with um, who, who Maya is, wants us to interact with. It, it just felt, it's just natural. It's just like, you have to take care of family. You have to take care of your people. And you really was enjoying that chocolate fountain. <laughs> girl, girl, I, girl, I saw you when I was dancing. And I was looking around trying to keep track of everybody. I was like, woo. And I was like, I got to get over to the nacho. <laughs> I said, I to get to the nacho one. I know you had a nacho one. So I guess I'm going to find that. that. I'll be covered in cheese sauce or whatever. Not true. But yeah, it was a world. We're all standing around. Everybody made it over. We're all here. Um, okay. And I uh, want you. I, I want Spinja to ask ask myself there. What is the connection between you and her? And see if myself there can give you an answer. Are you able to ask, Benja? I am asking. And she is my big sister, but I can't get from where. Okay. Beautiful. Another mystery. <laughs> Beautiful. Um is okay am i introducing you guys i want to introduce you guys to my friends there and let them know that you are my crew and because i'm very proud of you guys and so see do i do that do i introduce you to each to each of them yeah what do i say well i'm I'm focusing on one person. He looks like it's a male and he's, I guess he's human. Um, his face is kind of more square, chubby cheeks and square. And uh, he has like, um, what do you call that gray? Um, dusty gray or some type of gray hair, but it's got like a nice kind of like wave pattern to it. And, um, He's like dressed in it's it's like uh it looks like it's like like what Don does is like a military, but it's like um I guess it's a higher ranking military uh dress 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 down dress garbs whatever they call it dress uniform kind of thing. Uh huh. He's something. It's got some type of uh, red, like down the middle. Kind of, I don't know if that's the stash or a stripe or something, but it's like something red down the middle. And I don't know what material it is, but um, he he looks important. He's a Palladian <laughs> major general. Oh, yeah. Tell us more. He's. there to show you how this ship works. That's why you guys are having the little powwow. It's because it's Palladian technology. And that's who takes care of it when we're not in it. And that's 
a lot of who's staffing it and a lot of the beings that are here are Pleiadian. But they're basically hosting because you've acquired the ship from them and it's like the the, the launch. So he's giving you the rundown on how to interact with it with intuition. Beautiful. Spinja, what are you getting from all this? I feel like Rob was involved in this. He connected you with the ones who built the ship. Because we're at that point where we we needed to up our game. We needed the equipment. And he knew where to get it. He knew who to talk to and how to make the connections. So he's actually there And he's made the introductions and he, you're, you're all talking. And you're talking about like the, the future plans for missions. He's not coming with us. He's going back to home base. But he's on the ship now just for the introductions and to hang out and to see, you know, like what he did. And he gets to be part of the celebration because he helped make the connection. Who, Rob? Yeah. Is he on the ship there to party with you guys now? Yes. You see him? He's beside the Major General. What does he look like? Rob Is he in, different? Rob, but in a red Kevlar style formal space attire. Like it's, it's almost like the tuxedo version of a space suit. Like <laughs> the 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 space version of his red jacket that he wears. Is his demeanor more confident? Yes. Yeah. He he knows what he's talking about. He knows his stuff. Beautiful. Let's send him some love and say hello. What does he say back? He's he's like super excited to see us and he's just so happy that he was able to make this connection and we're encouraging him like dude you you're more connected you know more than you're gonna you let yourself believe you know let's take this opportunity to give him a good like pep talk that's that's beautiful spinja like keep going let's pour into him because we really want him to step into his power you know he's he's a major player i feel like he's he's holding space connecting a lot of people helping people wake up helping people discern so let's take a moment we'll send him some love and then just tell me um what you guys say to him this is all your guys' opportunity to tell tell him what you think and like you know Give him that good pep talk. I don't know if he's at the point of understanding that we exist in every dimension, in every plane, but in every incantation that I come across his energy, he's a man, a being 
of great empathy and understanding, highly intelligent and incredibly intuitive, and just wants nothing more than to solve his fellow beings' problems in the best ways he knows how. It's not just in the one we get to talk to on Earth. It's every existence that I can rationalize his existence. He is the same energy in some form or another. Beautiful. He, he owns it there. He, he knows everybody. He is information central. And he's made a lot of connections in this realm. But that doesn't even touch on the connections that he's made in the others. And he, he has the potential to tap in to this version of himself. And he does. He just doesn't know it. Can you ask Rob there, what does he think about what the Rob is doing here? And he, maybe he can give himself some words of wisdom or some advice. He is extremely proud of him. And just Trust his gut, trust his intuition. It may look bumpy, but it's going to work out. He's he's changing lives. He's helping repair timelines in real in real time. Beautiful. By having people come on his show and interview and share their story? Yes. And he's also helping us see things from all angles. And it's helping with discernment. It's also, he's also helping us with our growth. It's just, he's, he's helping in more ways than than he realizes right now. Is he on the right path or is he missing something? He's on the right path, but he also needs to be aware careful, mindful, because there are some that present like they're trying to help, but they're adding to confusion. They're slipping in buzzwords. I don't I can't, I don't have specific names or anything right now. It's just, I've, I've been, I've been seeing an increase in, I'm not going to say red flags, but just things that 
I'm watching for him. And I know others are seeing it too. Mm -hmm. Lori, you have any messages for him or does he have anything to say to you? I'm sure you have messages for him. Encouragement. I know how you were like rooting for him. I see him there and he has um, a highlight quotient in his structure. It's like a highlight quotient within his um, humanity. So um, I heard he needs to explore that more. And he and he and they cannot stop saying he needs to protect himself more. He interchanges with a lot of energies as this uh like um person in power and he uh shields this being shield this being is kinetic this being understands the importance of uh being uh cleansed routinely and that's what i feel that this version of him is is sending down the chain to him more so is to cleanse and protect his light quotient, his energy fields, his, because that energy is what is connecting, creating these connecting patterns to various people and places. And um, this being this version of him is saying that uh, uh, grid, grid, he's like a grid person. He needs to move around more in this so that his light can, I guess, motivate, inspire. So he should be going to, in this, time now he should be going to more conferences um and making more um, um dispensation of his energies but in a protected way oh i have to go to the bathroom oh okay you go ahead beautiful um don and spin what are you guys doing now are you still there listening <laughs> Or did you guys start dancing? That's not energy. I was just basically having blah, blah, blah talk. But one of the other things I had whispered to me from somewhere is be aware of predators posing as house pets. What? When it comes to rob people pretending they're there for his best interest, but they're not. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait. I, I started thinking of my cats for a second. Like, wait, what? <laughs> okay, so rob as far as like people that he associates with? Associates with? There's some people that don't have the interest in mind that they project you mean like in his circle just guests that come and use the platform as a soapbox with right yeah the best interest right 
Well, I guess it's a good thing that he doesn't side with anyone then because he's then he's not agreeing to their story. Exactly. Yes. Beautiful. He doesn't acting himself, but there are people trying to manipulate him. Yeah, of course. They want to get him to say one thing like they agree that he agrees. <laughs> Because that's how the harvesting works. They they tap in through what you agree with. Um, how's the party, though? Is there music playing? Is there people dancing? I mean, how's the party? It's really neat because as your enthusiasm or level changes, more guests arrive because <laughs> you can see <laughs> my enthusiasm like no even for myself the higher I vibrate the more beings I can see beautiful yes let's get those vibes raised really high I want you guys to just get a good glimpse and see all these different extraterrestrial faces around you and I'm just curious like do you see beings with more than two arms? I'm curious if there's like a pink guy. He would be about maybe seven, eight, nine feet tall. Maybe about four arms, pink. Just are there any people like that that in that description? I can't. Okay. What about you, Spinja? Do you see any anybody like that? No. I Do can you see, see all... that... What was that? I can see that tall dude that Angel Lori was with. What's he doing? He's leaning up by the band. Yeah. And... Got very, very long arms. <laughs> what do you guys want to do while you're in this space? Anything? While you're dancing and partying. Do you want to have, let's see if we can get all the, all the, the, the beans around you, get them to get close. And I want to see if, um, if the music could kick, kick up and everybody can just start boogieing and dancing the disco lights come out you know everybody's just floating high vibing good party times do you see anything like that you just shifted into like dj maya mode <laughs> and there's like turntables that like raised up and spun around <laughs> what and, like right at the front of the hall there's like a, a raised up dj booth and you just started but she came up from like the she just like disappeared from the crowd and then she like yeah came up like the state like she was under like somehow under the stage and like this platform like raised up and and she's like there in I, I don't know why I keep seeing her in purple but like a like a shimmery is well it's like the same color as my cat suit but it's not a cat suit yeah and she's got the lights going to the beat yeah. And well, actually, she's playing Doctor Demento Star Trek, and everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing the Star Trek dance. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Star Trek dance. Yeah. What? Uh, Doctor Demento. Wow. Okay. Is uh, everybody dancing? 
yeah and there's there's actual like there's movements it's it's kind of like a ymca cha-cha slide macarena thing but it's it's star trek <laughs> the wow. dj is really cool because it the base of it is the same crystal material as the ship and you've got the the rhythm of the music going through the living part of the ship like the ship is playing along with the music nice do you see this too Lori? well i'm just i'm i'm like in the midst of the crowd and i got kind of separated from you guys so i'm in the i'm in the crowd and everybody's dancing but I can see the stage. I can see where you are. And you have like the sparkly, like futuristic headset on, but they kind of like rhinestoned out or pistoled out. So they're kind of like sparkly as you're like um, spinning and moving around. They're kind of like, like flashing, kind of glowing and sparkly. And I can see it from way, I'm like way back, way back. Way nice. back into the ballroom. <laughs> I'm trying to dance my way over to where you guys are, but I'm 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 caught in the sea of all the people. <laughs> so I'm just going with the flow. I'm just out there. It's funny though, because when you pass around these people, it's not <laughs> like in a crowded club where you bump bodies. You're really just bouncing energies off of each other, and it. It's not even as much as a collision is a rub up against. It's never, it's weird. <laughs> nice. Do you see people of all sizes? <laughs> yeah. What do you see people like little midgets, little tiny people? Fairies, anything like that? Well, I saw a three foot, a three foot tall type of person, but I don't think I've seen anybody smaller than that. Yeah. I think for safety reasons, they have their own dance floor. Bob, right? Unless they can fly. Well, there are still <laughs> beings, there's still beings that we still haven't been able to see yet. So maybe we need to dance harder. Yeah, let's dance hard. I'm going to send love, love frequency out from the speakers as well. And I'm going to send love and you guys can send love all around you. And imagine I'm going to imagine myself spinning on the on the on the stage. And as I spin, I'm going to send love out to everybody around us and let them know that we're there and we're here to send love. And tell me if you can see that coming in and what does it feel like? I actually got a vision of the spaceship, like the exterior floating in space. And it's it's see-through, like it's crystal, but it's rainbow and the rainbow is like pulsating and there's like these gigantic speakers and we're just blasting the universe with there's love like, there's actually other ships that are like coming towards us and want to join the party yay we're blasting love right Yes, yeah. Describe the ships that are coming in. They're just all different shapes and sizes. And it's all good because the, the vibration that our ship is putting off we're we're only visible to the others 
of a certain vibration. The ones that aren't as high vibrational, they can still feel the love that we're be that we're blasting out, but they can't see us. And so that's actually protection within itself, because the low lower vibrational beings can't see us or sense us, but they can still they can feel the love that's being beamed out but they have no idea where it's coming from or how it's happening. It's almost amusing to see them scrambling, trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh gosh, really? It, it's basically the way 8D looks at us right now. This ship was brand new. This was experimental. Really? This is a new technology. I think this is why it's such a big deal. This love frequency blasting technology is new. And the baddies are scrambling, trying to figure it out. Oh, what? Something they have not experienced. They have no clue. Wow. And all the beings that are dancing, they're amplifying their energies as well? It's, it's just, it's, it's like a, It's a, it's a perpetual motion and the higher the frequency, the higher the frequency is drawn in. Beautiful. It's Pleiadian emotional technology. Their wow. technology runs off of their impulses and emotions. The happier you are, the better you, the quality of the way your technology runs, right? Because everything in Pleiadian technology is done in positivity. So the frequency that pumps out, the happier we are. Like when you're spinning around and the music's pumping and the crowd's dancing, all of the positive energy gets pushed from the inside of the crystal ship out into the universe. And it interfere well not interfering it's destroying the negativity beautiful well we gotta keep on rocking because uh angel Lori knows how bad it's needed right so let's let those speakers rock and let's see do those any of those beams come aboard the ship can you see them coming on the ship or are they just staying next to us? Mm -hmm. There's more people coming on because um I just I just got a download and I just got um um I heard a very high sound. So I think more higher higher uh dimensionals are coming on board. Oh beautiful. Beautiful. Let's let it rock. Let's dance. Let's have a good time and just describe everything that's happening as everybody's dancing. Section on that, there, um, everybody is um, there and some are in physical, verbal conversation, um, but a lot of it is, um, I guess it's a lot of uh, telepathy going on with between um people and it's it's kind of like it's kind of like um it's kind of like a mixture between one of those silent parties and a party party to be it's kind of like a mixture between a silent party where everybody's got like on their own 
things and everybody's dancing, but then when you're on the outside looking in, it sounds quiet. But and it's it's kind of like that, but you can hear the music, but you can also kind of like um, I don't know, experience it like like internally. So it's doing something to us internally. Um maybe it's just lifting the vibration or adjusting us somehow. But yeah, it's like we're 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 coming in like I guess our consciousness is going up in a little octaves, like octave thing going on in here. So it's it's really interesting. And I'm just I'm just jamming. I'm just jamming. I'm still trying to get in the quadrant of the roof where you guys are. I'm I'm cool where I am. You know, because everybody is just in, in like happy pockets. So I'm kind of like, you know, um, doing like this little slide dance, you know, spinning in between people, smiling. So I'm kind of like going um, work in the room. I'm working the room from the out the outer the outer base. <laughs> what about your guys' treats that you had for everybody? Did you guys bring them? I have it I have it in my pocket, the three I bought the three um crystal little ball thing. See if there's uh, someone special or a couple special people you want to give those to. Maybe just one for now. Who knows? I think one I'm supposed to give to you. So I'm kind of like, from where I am, I'm kind of like levitating it. And I'm kind of like floating it above the crowd to you. And um, the tall guy, um, I think he's, I think he says his name is Tikanti, Tikana, Tikana. It's something with a T. And it sounds like, I don't know, kind of native, native. And Tikanti said um, he's assisting you to float it over to one of the crystal ball. And then it's coming towards you. And you kind of like pluck it like this. And then you kind of like inserted it someplace. And then it's kind of like amplifying the flash, amplifying the frequency. So you're doing that. And then I, I have the other two. And I guess I, I have to um, feel the room when I'm supposed to give the other two to. But one, one went into your technology that you're working on up there. And it just. <laughs> Beautiful. It turns out the the bowl that I brought as a gift. Now that you're up on stage DJing, I see the purpose of it. It was for for you to play it for everybody. Oh. Do you have it with you? I I've given it to you. It's oh. it's for you to play to raise the frequency, like but while you're spinning. I can see that. Am I doing it? You're mixing you're mixing songs, but you're also adding adding in the the frequency from the bowl. Well, frequencies because the it's it's intuitive. So you're playing the music that that you chose to play. Uh -huh. You've got like your one hand on like your left hand on the record and your right hand on the bowl. Oh. <laughs> and your frequency, like you're like 
literally shimmering. Yeah. And the brighter you shimmer, like it's just washing over the crowd. Oh. And then it's radiating out of the speakers and like out into space. Wow. Beautiful. How does that feel to you guys? Cleansing. What is this feel? Cleansing? I have chills inside. <laughs> the same kind of chills as when I'm standing on the floor, exactly what Lori described. The cold floor? Yes. Oh. Why is that? Any idea why that happens? I think that might be how light feels internally. Yeah? It doesn't Tink make you cold. It's like... <clears throat> Tingly? I don't know if you've ever drank water from a stream in the winter. Mm, yes. That kind of cold. You're not you're not freezing, but it's it's refreshing. Right. I didn't understand the gift I or the thing I brought because I don't even know tarot. <laughs> but I took one card and it's for Lori and it's a timeline take back. Oh. Do you hand and it to her? I'm supposed to give it to her for later. Okay. Do you give it to her? What do you yeah. do? I give it to Lori. What does she do? She puts it away. Lori, did you feel, did you see that? Did you receive that? I received it and I put it in. Um, to like I my, my where my satchel compartment is, and I guess I'll know what to do with it when the time comes. I don't <laughs> know this. I just got told to give it to you. Beautiful. Well, life is a bit of a mystery now, isn't it? <laughs> Are there any other aliens or any other strange people or folk around that you'd like to talk to and connect with? Or do you think you guys have had a good enough experience? Or is there anything else you would like to do? Well, I kind of by located to go check on the boys and they're doing good. Okay, good. I was going to say, are they okay? <laughs> yeah, they're fine. They're kind of like in a holodeck situation. So they're, they've are they zoomed themselves out. So they're all like laying around. <laughs> Good. Did you guys have fun? Did you get to dance at all? Spinja and Don, were you guys dancing at all? I did, especially when the spinning was going on. I know Spinja got to see it from the outside but when the music first really like when the bass dropped basically and you were spinning around there was this really cool pyro waterfall effect that went mm -hmm. off all behind you oh 
So, like, as you were spinning, it's this white light of pyro that just streams down like a waterfall. And that was, like, what primed everybody up from what she saw from the outside. Oh. Wow. Well, we're going to spin some records and we're going to dance and have some fun. Spinta, do you want to get up there and do some spinning? Uh, I'd really rather dance right now. All right, dance. Get your groove on and tell me how does it feel. Describe everything that you're doing. I've been caged up for far too long. <laughs> you having fun dancing? I'm having a blast. Beautiful. Still jacked up on chocolate too, though. That could be it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Lori wouldn't let me at the nacho fountain, so I had to go back to the chocolate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Was she guarding the nacho fountain? Well, her face looks like mine, except she has cheese and I have chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Nice. Check out for both of us. Nice. I found two other people that I gave the little circle crystal to. One was a very unique band. Um, kind of looked like a a brain type person. Yeah. Like like a cauliflower brain type person. Um, oh. And the face kind of looked like like you would think like if a tree came alive, that's what the face looked like, like tree-like, but the head part looked like 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 a large brain and very pale um, being. And when I was uh, walking past, um, something told me, and the hand, hand her went, and it's a female, and I handed it to her, and she smiled. And it's kind of like she blessed me like that. And I did a little bow to her. So um, we didn't really like change like information or anything. I was just told to give it to her and I gave it to her. And she kind of like knew to accept it. And then um, once I passed this being, I gave the last one to Tequite. Um, the tall being that I had danced with earlier, I gave him, I presented him with the other one and he took it and he ate it. <laughs> Why? I don't know. He took it and he just ate it. So maybe, maybe his species of being, that's how they ingest the energy from the ball or whatever. But he ate it. Did you ask him yeah. why did he eat it? I didn't. I just I just knew I was supposed to give it to him. I gave it to him. And then I, I was like moving on in the crowd. And when I looked back, I saw him in his skin. Wait. He was chewing it? <laughs> no. It's like he, I think he swallowed it kind of like a pill. Oh. Well, you know, you, you said that you were able to communicate with him. Let's see if you can ask him what did he do with it. Well, I, I, okay, I have to go back to that side of the room, though. I already made my way to the middle. <laughs> then he's going to want to dance again. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm telepathically reaching out to him. And um, Yeah, you don't have to. You could just telepathically, you know. He's, he's really happy. I think the the little ball Maybe for his species, um, he it just maybe it was like a mushroom or something because he's really, really happy. Oh. <laughs> he 
he's like literally at a frequency which is kind of hard for me to hold this um telepathic communication because he's like buzzing and I'm like whoa so I think I think what that was was I don't know like maybe a happy pill or something but nice. it, it raised him up even higher than he than than he already was nice well that's good for the atmosphere right yeah because he's like radiating it out and I have to like break the telepathic connection because he's just too powerful for me to um try to be now it's like i'm here and he once he once he swallowed the pistol he's like up here so i'm down here so when you're trying to communicate from here to that it it, it was like kind of um given my um, inner ear and some problems so i broke the communication and i feel fine but in it it kind of felt like i was like um underwater like when you're underwater and the water gets in your ear that's what it kind of felt like oh okay but what about you Spenta and Don what are you guys doing I've just been kind of making the rounds and like Lori said earlier it's interesting because there's certain beings in the room you have to talk to and then there's certain beings you just know what you're saying like you don't even have to open your mouth <laughs> right so i would what they call ADD. It's really interesting because I can carry on like four conversations at once. <laughs> it's a superpower. <laughs> you guys making friends? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like on the side, and I had to take my platforms off because my feet, my dogs are tired, so I had to take my platforms off. So I'm just kind of sitting on the side. I'm like sitting on the floor. People are like all about me. I'm like off in a little corner, and I'm just kind of like sitting Indian style, just letting my feet rest. But um, I do have like a plate of nachos, so I'm cool. <laughs> Nice. I'm going to the rest. They, they worked hard tonight. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> What's going on with you, Spinja? Did you? I'm what just doing? In. I'm just chilling. Did you uh, socialize? Are you socializing still? It's pretty overwhelming. I'm not I'm not really socializing. There's You're not partying anymore? I'm I'm dancing, but I don't really have anything to say because I'm too busy dancing and taking oh. music. <clears throat> well that's okay. Dancing is good. Dancing is good. Are you guys um are you guys uh, ready to go back to your dancing quarters? Are you guys ready to go back to your quarters anytime soon? Or do you want to stay there for a while? I'm ready to go. Me too. Okay. I want to... Be in this room and it's tiring. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I want you to see myself up there um, playing the last song and uh shutting it down and sending love out to everybody <clears throat> and we're going to see the lights dim and people are going to start saying goodbye to each other hugging each other and 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 spreading out through the room and tell me if you can see this or is it like vegas and they just want to party all night people beings are starting to go and even on the out I can see ships starting to cloak. 
Okay, cool. All right, I want you to see yourselves going back to your rooms, back to your, or go back to the, the, um, the open, the common quarters before you go to your room where you can see outside and watch the ships leave. So you're going to leave out that room, go through the doors, and you're going to be able to watch everybody leave. And tell me if you can see this. Yes. Yes. And what does it look like? It's where the big staircases are with the crystal foyer. Mm -hmm. The front is, I can't tell if it's columns or glass, but you can see through it or past it. Okay. Beautiful. All right. You guys ready to, uh, to relax and, uh, and wait for the next time you, you, um, tap in so the next time we go live with rob i'll help i'll have you guys be on your ship and um you'll come and greet everybody already on the ship since you already know what it's like so that's the plan for next time okay okay so what i want you to do is see yourself going back to your quarters so um, Lori, you can go to your quarters where you're with your dog and Spinja and Dawn, you can go back to your quarters and jump on your bed and, and, you know, get cozy and comfortable and let me know if you can see this happening. Okay. Yes. Yes. What does it feel like? Do you feel nice and cozy? Does your body, and remember this bed is just a magical bed. It's going to re-energize you. It's going to massage your feet, your back, anything that you need. It's just going to give you whatever you need, a good massage, a good crystal boost, chakra boost or whatever. And just tell me, what does this feel like? Well, I went into the sonic shower. <laughs> nice took off my stuff so I went into the sonic shower and it's also kind of like bombarding my body with different colors of light too so I feel refreshed I feel clean so I'm wrapped in like this um I don't know what it is I'm wrapped in something and then um I'm putting on my um my pajamas and then I'm gonna get into the bed <laughs> beautiful you understand okay beautiful Don and Spencer what are you guys doing Gunner's rolling around on the bed <laughs> because it's healing he's feeling really good uh huh so we're trying to get him to settle down <laughs> he's like not quite yet <laughs> But it's like this big Arizona king, but it's in like a canopy bed. Oh, beautiful. All right. So now I want you to see yourselves and I'm, I'm going to get in my cozy, cozy. Uh, I'm going to get in my cozy quarters too. And so I want you to imagine yourself getting into your bed, dimming the lights and take a deep breath in and close your eyes. And the next time you open your eyes, when you're under, you'll be back in your bed and you'll be waking up to a new day and, and another journey where you'll uh, meet everybody and greet them on the beach, just like the ship came and greeted you. But this time you will be on the ship to greet Whoever else chooses to join the next time uh, we do a session, even if it's Rob, he'll be greeted on the beach and you guys will be in your uniforms and, you know, you'll have plenty of time to wake up and get yourself dressed before you meet him. So I'll make sure I ask you guys all about it. So take a deep breath in and relax and remember that you had a beautiful experience do you guys have any last words to each other before you go off to, 
to uh, Earthland. <laughs> well, I sent Don and I sent Spindia. I sent them hugs and I sent it to the boys and I gave everybody a kiss on their forehead and um, I gave Thor a kiss on his forehead and I'm ready to go night night. Okay. Don Spindler? You. Thank you. And I'm I'm really looking forward to going on more adventures with, with Lori and Thor. <laughs> This was a this was a lot of fun. I I knew it was going to be fun. I knew there was going to be a connection, but it was even more than what I thought it was going to be. More than words can describe. Yes. Beautiful. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed this. I just want to say I love you all. And I'm grateful that you were able to have this experience and I was able to be there with you. And so now I want to just relax and remember that all the love that you sent out today is going to keep amplifying as you sleep and out throughout, throughout the universe. And, you know, um, the people at the Palladians, they'll be taking care of our ship and it'll be cloaked and they'll be able to do whatever they need to do. So we send everybody love and gratitude and we'll leave those energies there. And that time and space to continue on. <clears throat> and I'm gonna count from five to one. And when I get to one, you will be opening your eyes and you'll be back in this time and this place in this existence which is Sunday, December 31st, 12.45 Eastern Standard Time. And so it is the new year, the new Gregorian year. So five, we're going to leave everybody there to continue on their journey. We give love, thanks, and gratitude for this experience. And four, all your energies are coming back in, integrating nicely back into your body, fully integrating nicely. Three, your mind, body, and soul is now all together aligning beautifully into your body. Two, your senses are all coming back, your fingers and toes are moving, your shoulders and neck, and your eyes are blinking. And one, you're fully integrated back into your body. You are back in this time, place, and existence. Welcome back to 3D Earth. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Oh, drink, some, come with us. <laughs> drink some water. <laughs> Guy, Gunner did come with us. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, shoot. I, I didn't even know he was there. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, he just joined in in the middle at some point. Bucky's in the hallway. That's not like I didn't. And he is not a slight dog. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. That was great. It's almost Happy New Year. I know. <laughs> I told you I wanted to take you on a party in New Year's Eve, and we did. <laughs> that was cool. That was a New Year's Eve party before the New Year's um, yeah. Zoom party. Awesome. What'd you guys Holy. think, guys? That was great. That ship is that ship is huge. That was fun. Was <laughs> we didn't even explore a quarter of that ship. That thing is oh, huge. Like that thing's a city. I want yeah. one time. I want us to get to the to the engineering part. We need to we need to pick through the mechanisms. We need to know how that should work. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, 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 
yep. Tenderini, whatever she said her name was, Tendor, Tenderini. I don't know. That yeah, we need to, we need to, we need to really get deep in her guts. <laughs> she's 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 kind of I, I've never seen anything so big. Yeah. I know Which, more about magnets again. <laughs> yeah. Woo. I got my tea. Yeah. What do you think, Spinja? You were so quiet. How was it? It was fine. <laughs> were you taking it all in? Were you absorbing it all in? Getting good details and stuff? Yeah, I'm like, and it, it doesn't surprise me that I didn't really talk a whole lot because even in this realm, I don't, I just observe and just take it in. Nice. As soon it's as you were like, I feel who's full. Like informational. I feel, I feel kind of full. I really think that I really went overboard on those nachos. <laughs> you two were hilarious. <laughs> like, you guys look like little kids, and I'm in like my dress clothes, and I'm like, really? I'm the grown up? <laughs> she can't take those girls anywhere. I'm like, you guys are in dresses and I'm in like military gear and you guys are like, I'm like, holy shit, I can't take you guys anywhere. I'm taking my shoes off. I'm just sitting on the floor. I'm just done. It was like going to a high school dance with interstellar beings. Like it was freaking hilarious. (laughs) Right? Oh, I'm so excited for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. That was awesome. I think, when, I think next time if I pick up those if I if I ever run into those crystal balls again, I think we should try to eat one. You never yeah. know what will happen, you know. I mean, even though he's got bigger anatomy and everything, and I don't really know what species he is, but he his vibration went. So if we could Maybe a smaller crystal, like that size, a marble size? <laughs> Something that you don't choke on? Yeah, yeah. with, with the fairy bits. Who knows? Maybe. You might reach, like, I don't know, 12th dimensional whatever. Yeah. One thing I definitely figured out is Arcturians have no different... They can't differentiate business and pleasure. It's like, hey, great to see you. Nice to blah, blah, and all about this information, blah, 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 blah. But great party. And I was oh, just yeah? like, yeah, like they literally just connect their sentences of like a friendly greeting back to business. Hey, great party. And it's just like, do you guys have more than one tone? Like, I didn't even run into the Arcturians. I don't think so. It was they so were, I don't know. Yeah, like literally when I went in on the left hand side, there was like three of them, but only one that I actually know. But like he just was like, Oh, are you getting all that? Like, because he's the one in charge of my downloads, I think. Oh. And yeah, he's just like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, Yeah, we're here for this. Like, <laughs> You should have gotten Wait, did he ask you if you got your downloads? Yeah. Like, what? he was asking, like, hey, welcome to the party, blah, blah, blah. Oh, did you get those downloads? Did Don understand those? <laughs> Business and pleasure at the same time. Exactly. They have no separation. They're just, like, one line. Like, they're monotone. They're so friggin' weird to deal with. And I don't know it's because we're, we've been human for so long that we just deal differently now, but they just come out with, hey, nice to meet you. Did you get all that information? That's good. Okay, how's your mom? Like, I think I think at some level, I think everybody in that wall room got some type of uh, increase in vibration or maybe some type of download. Because remember, at one point, I heard that high pitch sound. I heard that high pitch sound, and I knew that was some type of a download or energy boost. When I heard the high pitch sound, and also when you put the crystal in your in your technology up front, 
it sent out all these light things, these light rays, mm. light beams, or whatever. I think those were like pumping up the volume in the frequency too. So you know, really, you, yeah. I think that I think that was boosting everybody. So whoever was really already high vibrational, I think they was like, who knows? But it was like a lot of people in that room. So maybe some of them, when we first got on the ship, when we was wandering around upstairs, we felt other energies. But I think as the party got started and ramped up, those beings started coming into our existence. Right. So like we physically see them. They started materializing. Yeah. They they did. Well, yeah. Remember when we first walked into the room, I didn't see no 14 foot man. I saw a lot of people. So I guess at some point Tikanti came into our our reality, our ability to see him, and then the ability to like touch him. Right. Yeah. He was cool. Well, yeah, that, he was cool. That's I don't like, remember like, him my from my perspective, it was like because I wasn't resonating as high as you, all I could see was you. <laughs> you were at the same level as him and it was like okay i can see her but where that who is she dancing with because all i see is like you going like this <laughs> and it's like what the hell is going on no, i said she must have gravity boots on or something what's going on <laughs> well yeah i'm just trying to carry on this serious business conversation about military crap and i'm watching <laughs> you spin around in a circle and i'm like what the hell <laughs> What is she doing? He, that I is think too it was funny. That elixir, that elixir that he kept giving me, it was elixir, but it was like in this really um art deco kind of glassware. And he kept giving it to me and I was knocking him back. I think it was <laughs> the elixir that also boosted me up. Makes sense. It, it, didn't make, it wasn't <laughs> no. alcohol. It wasn't alcohol. And I don't think he was trying to roofie me. It was just <laughs> It was just, um, I don't know, joy juice. Joy, it just gave a lot of um, joy. It was like a, just happiness in a glass. Yeah. I would love did to you know guys what get that any was. of that? Were, did you guys drink any of that elixir? I think it was uh, all around. Uh, what was that? I think Spindle? it was all around the club. So I'm sure maybe if you, if you drank wondering- something. I'm wondering if they drank any of it. Did Did you guys drink? Not that I recall, but there was a lot of chocolate. The only thing I ate was that tiny pineapple strawberry thing. Ah, see, you guys got to get the elixir next time. Get the elixir. Trust strange aliens on ships. <laughs> <laughs> drink. I know. Right? That's funny. <laughs> wow that was really cool that was I'm glad we were able to make it happen DJ Maya DJ <laughs> Maya on the one and twos what? oh shit yeah you were dropping she was like it was like something you would see at Lollapalooza or some ridiculous stage show like just it spun up out of nowhere and there's like and then when you started spinning around all this firework and shit started coming out oh it was crazy <laughs> what I would love to uh, see that in like a video yeah right? <laughs> that would be awesome yeah that is okay, you cool. could use that you could use that as like your opener yeah <laughs> DJ Mike and Alien Farm or something like, oh no, I have to get on the graphics program, don't I? Uh, what did you guys think of your your outfits? It mine was comfortable, except for the platform shoes. After a while, the platform boots they they hurt. Like <sighs> pinching, pinching my little toes. I was like, I gotta take these off. They're super cute. And they made me like a little bit taller, but I was like, I gotta take them off. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll find new shoes. What about you, Spinta? Yeah, I ditched the shoes. Like, they weren't on very long. <laughs> and I actually ditched my my shoes, like, shortly after I got on the ship. Because I noticed, I noticed the floor. And I'm not generally, like, in the in the nicer weather, I basically wear shoes as a formality. <laughs> That was rare for me because um, I'm always being told I, I got a ground, I got a ground, but I always have like slippers on or whatever. But when we got on the shit, I was barefoot. You're right. We were walking barefoot because yeah. we could feel the crispness of the floor. And then when you saw like the floor changing colors, like these rainbow colors as you walked throughout the ship. I wonder what that was. Uh, was that like either some type of cleansing frequency or was that, um, I don't know. But I know it was more than just what we thought. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Like cleansing, healing, there there was, there was something to it. Even yeah. when you touch the walls. Yeah, the, the walls felt like, like life. And then yeah. when I touched it, I touched it with both hands. And when I did, that's when the ship was like communicating with me and told me her name. Um, and I was Tinduri or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. And um, the number one thing she said was welcome. Like, welcome. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this environment. You guys are welcome. Come yeah. on in. So yeah, so she she um she appreciated our energies. And I think she really liked the likes it when we walk barefoot. Right. Yeah. In it, yeah. Very healing. I want to walk barefoot, but next time I'm gonna put on socks because I want to slide down them hallways. We need to have oh, sock race so down them hallways. Right. I'm wondering if there's is there a way, like with the floor being the way that it is, that it just there's kind of like a like an air current, like kind of like air hockey, <laughs> <laughs> where you get to slide, like you you just put it out there that you want to slide, and then suddenly like there's like a little like slight air current where you can just like Whoa! <laughs> don't tell us so that bad. we will never get them to stop. They will be flying all over that shit. That would be so fun. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we need to get in touch with an engineer to have that feature added <laughs> right <laughs> tell Tandori so when the next time you're on your ship it's already there I need, we need to look up that meaning of that word let me look hold on let me let me let me put it in I still got I still got reacher see my reacher reacher <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. It was like T A N D O O R I N I Tenderini, something like that. And so Dawn and Spencer, while she's looking for that, let me ask you. Um <clears throat> do you guys um down the thought just left my mind. Um Tandorini. There's no tandorini, but there is tandoori, and that's some way that you prepare chicken. Yeah. That's like an Indian masala. There's no tandorini, but there is a tandoori. Mm -hmm. But I think her name oh. is tandorini. Tan, tan, tandor tandorini. I think there's an I and I in there. Well, it just means she's Spicy, right? Yeah. She's a um, spicy girl. What was I gonna say? I was gonna ask you guys something about your ship. Oh, did you guys happen to look down the halls and look in the doors and stuff? Do you remember if there was like bathrooms or any other rooms in the on the ship? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Off of our bedroom, there was a bathroom and shower quarters and stuff. Yeah, I remember I took a shower, so there was a shower in there. Um, I don't remember seeing like a toilet. 
But there was, was a, there was a um there was a device kind of looking bidet-ish or something over there. I didn't even explore that. I didn't explore it. I just took the shower. 